enough things are going. You are listening to What's What Jamaica News, where we bring you the latest. Stay tuned. And now for the news. Man kicked his baby mother in her stomach. Police killed on his birthday. Baby denied visa to UK. I what do them a young boy with jealousy? Eh? Jealousy make it then jealous in a way, jealous rage. They have mother, they have sister. They have other family members. And yet still them treating them a treat woman so bad. They don't treat woman with respect. Now a man kick in baby mother in her stomach and in our private area a corporate era man who allegedly kicked his baby mother in the stomach for sharing her phone number with another man pleaded not guilty in the kingston and saint andrew parish court last week the court heard that on june 11 the complainant attended a party and was standing beside a man the accused approached her and said, Come ya, you know, great man, and grabbed her by her shirt, dragging her to his mother's home in the central Kingston area. The complainant indicated that her baby father threw her to the ground, stood over her and began to punch her in her face. He then kicked her in her stomach and stepped on her private part several times it is alleged that while he was beating her he repeatedly said you are gone like you know rape me you are gone give man your number the complainant in her statement said that she tried to cover her face as he kicked her but he did not stop beating her until other persons intervened when they are Hughes was arraigned before parish judge Maxine Dennis McPherson. He pleaded not guilty to the allegations. The judge ordered order a subpoena for the complainant to attend court and instructed the prosecutors to have the class file complete. The accused is to return to court on September 1st. But a lot of times when these, these people, these young women, when them complain, them don't show up a court. That's what me notice. Them don't show up a court because some of them probably love them baby father or them think that that's the right thing to do. And them just press charge and them don't show up. And the next thing you know, then drop the charge and months down the road or years, years down the road, you hear say something worse happened to them. Because that has become the norm with the young people them nowadays. The young men them nowadays, them feel so they must always lift them hand. They must use them baby mother as a punching ball. As we see one, one YouTuber come on, you know, and say, every man beat them woman. But it's the lifestyle where them live and it's where them grow up and see. Every man not beat every woman. That's it. every Jamaican man beat every woman. As some of them break a young boy, you know what they say, Missy, all as them ready to put hand on woman. Keep police officer down again a police inspector assigned to the saint catherine enhanced security measures division was found dead at home on tuesday morning today should have been his birthday reports are that the body of enroy madori was found in his car at his white water meadows home in spanish town saint catherine his firearm was found at the scene he was reportedly found with a single gunshot wound to his head. His colleagues said that he did not return up for duty on Monday. His being killed was not on their minds at all. According to them, they feel so sad they were in disbelief. One person said, we are still in disbelief as he was such a dedicated leader. He was always encouraging us to be courageous towards the public. The man was supposed to be here last night. But may I tell you, Spanish town Aguan, bad. 
every day Spanish town in the news now. You know, and policeman and he live a Spanish town. Well, the report don't say what caused his death, if somebody was after him or whatever it is. But whatever, when the news get updated, I will bring it back to you right here. When Tiffany Ellis and her family traveled out to Jamaica for her wedding on January 2020, they never imagined that over two years later, Tiffany and their newborn child would still be stranded there. A Brit is stranded in Jamaica after she gave birth there and her baby has been refused entry to the UK. Tiffany Ellis has lived in the UK since she was eight years old and on April 30th last year, she gave birth to her baby. The 28-year-old has been trying to return to the UK ever since, but the Home Office has refused her baby permission to come over. The government refused visa application on December 22nd when he was almost eight months old and reportedly said he had an established life in Jamaica. What kind of established life can a baby have? No, you tell me that. Now, they are said to have added that the child would not suffer unjustifiable harsh consequences and the baby would continue its life in the Caribbean with financial support from his mother in the UK. Who make that rule? People tell me if something no wrong with this. Can you imagine the UK embassy recommend that the woman left the kid at Jamaica and support him from England? What they mean when them said the child would not suffer? The woman left Jamaica at eight. Even she would have suffered because she don't know anything about Jamaica. Black people are sub people all the time. And anyway, them can punish with the black. Them do it because like black are crime. Well, no, there is some hope because the British office is reconsidering. The British Home Office is reconsidering its ridiculous decision to bar an ill 14-month-old boy from entering the country after his mother, a United Kingdom resident, delivered him while stranded in Jamaica at the height of the corona virus. And listen, the picnic is now 14 months old and the mother still trying to struggle and fight with the UK embassy to get our baby fixed stay with her in the UK. This is ridiculous. This no law no go so.